John encounters a distressed Samwell in the crypts beneath Winterfell and asks if Gilly is all right. John does not know yet that Sam is distressed because he learned about the deaths of his father and brother at the hands of Daenerys. Sam assures John that Gilly is well. As more and more northerners arrive seeking sanctuary at Winterfell, food stalls are set up in the Corte RD to feed them. A little girl says that she wants to fight against the army of the dead, rather than be sent down into the crypts for safety. Gilly admires her bravery, but points out that they will need protectors in the crypts as well, and that the girl would be better suited down there, which she agrees to. Gilly is later seen in bed with Samwell and Little Sam, awaiting the imminent arrival of the White Walkers. Gilly and Little Sam are among the many who take refuge in Winterfell's crypt when the Battle of Winterfell begins. After the army of the dead breaches Winterfell's walls and the Night King reanimates all who have fallen so far, his spell extends into the crypt itself, and all the deceased Stark ancestors begin to emerge from their coffins. Along with everyone else, Gilly scambles to escape the crypt before the resurrected can wipe him out. When Arya finally manages to slay the Night King, all the dead crumble into dust, and the survivors emerge from the crypt to see what remains. Following the victory celebration and plan for the army's remaining forces to launch an attack on King's Landing, John bids farewell to Sam and Gilly in Winterfell's courtyard. Gilly informs John that she is pregnant, and if the child is a boy, she and Sam plan to name him John. Gilly is not directly seen following the Battle of King's Landing and the assassination of Daenerys, but since Sam had a place on the council that named Brandon Stark as king, and was later appointed Grand Maester, she presumably accompanied him to live in the capital.